Petra is most famous from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. <laughs> but beyond this iconic image is an ancient desert city once home to thousands of people. About 2,300 years ago, a group of nomadic Arabs, later to be called the Nabataeans, occupied parts of southern Jordan and were at the right place at the right time. The world was getting smaller, and cultures were coming into contact with each other unlike ever before. Alexander the Great had just introduced half a continent to Greek society, sometimes after raising a town to the ground, then building it back up but with more floral patterns in its columns. Anyway, all this cultural exchange meant people wanted more things from further away places. And what better place to be at that time than Jordan? It's located at the converging point of Africa, Europe, and Asia, a crossroads that's been of significance since the first of our species left Africa. The Nabataeans controlled trade routes through this important hub, and were able to acquire great wealth from Indian spices on their way to Alexandria and Greek statues passing through to Red Sea ports. They used their wealth to construct massive and awe-inspiring tombs, for which Petra is most famous today. But Petra is so much more than a valley of the dead. Petra is thought to have been a city of several tens of thousands of people who bartered over goods and markets, practiced religious rites and temples, and debated public policy in the city's civic center. The remains of these institutions are mostly in rubble in Petra's basin area, but thousands of potsherds on the site's surface are testimony to the many people who lived here in the literal shadows of the dead from the tombs that ring the city. Petra was incredibly cosmopolitan, the tombs incorporated stepped motifs from Mesopotamia, obelisk from Egypt, and ornate entablatures from Greece. The columns at Petra are distinctly Nabataean, however, with tops that point out like bullhorns. If fortune created Petra, then a loss of fortune eroded it. By the time Petra was absorbed by the Roman Empire in the 1st century AD, new trade routes and greater confidence in seafaring made Petra increasingly obsolete. Although several earthquakes destroyed parts of the city in the following centuries, it's a ruin not from natural disasters alone, but from money drying up and people gradually leaving to find better prospects elsewhere, or to return to the way of life of those who founded Petra herding in the Arabian desert like descendant Bedouin communities do to this day. Petra is a reminder that the good times don't always last forever. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to Poopy Archaeology for more videos about the past.